Now with the help of this new feature, you can easily make these kind of 3D product animations inside of After Effects that too without using any third party plugin. Now you don't need any kind of 3D software or 3D plugin to create these scenes. This is 100% After Effects. And in this video, we are going to learn how to make this. So my name is Abhishek and let's get started. Now with this new update, you can directly import your 3D models in After Effects and also you can use HDRIs to light your scene and animate them as well. So let's see how to make this. So first you need a 3D model. So for that, I downloaded this iPhone model from this website, Sketchfab, and I'm going to use this model. I will put a link in the description for where you can download this. So shout out to that sketch for uploading this model. In order to use this, all you have to do is just click on this download button and after that you can either use the glb or gltf file so just click on download and it will start downloading once you have downloaded the 3d model you also need an hdra so for that you can go to polyheaven website and after that just search for the studio section and under here you can see we have bunch of different really nice studio lighting just click on anyone you want to download and after that make sure that it's in exr format and from here you can select the resolution and after that just click on download once everything has been downloaded just import them in after effects and you are ready to go so first we will begin by creating a new composition so let's call this one scene one and after that width and height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want and before clicking ok make sure under the 3d rendering option you have advanced 3d checked if you don't have the latest version you won't have this option you will only have classic 3d and cinema 4d so make sure that this option is checked otherwise you won't be able to import anything after that just click on ok now here we have our composition now let's import our 3d model all you have to do is just click and drag and you can see that it has already imported our 3d model sometimes it will pop up and show you some dialog box in which you have to select the make to comp size and just click on ok so once you have it you can easily rotate it if i press r you can see i can rotate it like in the 3d space and i can animate it however i want also let's light up our scene using the hdri which we just downloaded so for that all you have to do is just create a new light so right click new let's add a light and under the light type i'm going to select the environment make sure cast shadow is checked and so things will remain same just click on ok now we have to import our light which we just downloaded i'm going to use this one so just drag it over here and we actually don't have to see it so i'm going to just quickly hide it let's select the environment light and if i open it up under the source we have this default option and i'm going to select the hdri which we just imported and right away you can see we have light our scene now i can select this press r to add the rotation so i can rotate the light source and you can see right away our light is changing in our scene let me just quickly select this and i'm going to like make it quite big so that you can see and you can see all the lighting we can control using these sliders so let's start by animating our object first so i'm going to select this let's press r and let's rotate it to a nice angle which we want in our scene let's increase the size as well and let's rotate it to something like that and i'm going to like quickly place it to where we want our object to be let's press p and let's place it over here again let's press r so now i am happy with the position of this and let's add keyframe for all of these so let's press r and i'm going to add keyframe for all of them let's press p and let's add a keyframe for position as well then let's press u to see everything now let's select all of these keyframes and let's move them ahead now in the beginning i want this object to be like behind somewhere around here and let's just move it to the up as well so that it is out of our frame also i want to rotate it as well so i'm going to add the z rotation like this so that as it is coming in it will rotate as well like that now i can select all of these keyframes let's press f9 to easy ease them let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph let's select the endpoints and probably zoom in and i'm going to change my graph to look like this so we basically want this to like come in very quickly like that now we can play around with a couple of these things so first we can change the position as well so now you can see we have this very nice smooth motion maybe we can change the rotation and let's rotate it the other way now if i press play you can see we have this motion and i really like this one 
Now we can select these keyframes and let's move them like far away so that we have this very smooth flow in like that. Yeah, I like this and we can play around with the lighting as well. So this is going to be a final pose and let's play with the lighting. I'm going to select this. Let's press R and let's find a really nice lighting that we like. So I like this one. And if I press play, you can see we have light up our whole scene really nicely. Perfect. Maybe let's move them like a little bit ahead. Now we can add our text as well to our scene. Now, before we proceed, if you want to learn some 3D CJ and VFX stuff, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, I have uploaded full tutorials in which I've explained each and every step how to make these kind of animations. Then you can check out my Patreon page. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So let's select the text tool and Let's type all new. It's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. For the bottom one, we can make it like bold. And let's increase its size as well. Perfect. Let's align it in the center of this comp. Somewhere around here. Now, in order to animate it, all we have to do is just search for blur in preset, which is inbuilt. So just search for blur. And after that, you will have this blur fade in. Let's drag it onto our text. Now, if I press play, you can see we have this very nice blurry fade in and our animation is also happening. Nice. Now we are done with our first scene in the same way we can create more scenes as well. So in order to create the next scene, you can either create a new composition and just add everything or you can just simply select this, press Ctrl D so that we have this scene too. Now let's open this up and over here first we are going to like hide this text and after that we can select our model and let's press U and I'm going to like remove all the keyframes because we are going to animate it again. So let's open this up and just click on reset so that everything is reset. Now we can first rotate it so that we can see what we have over here like that. And this time I want the object to like move in from the frame for that let's put it over here let's add a keyframe for position and in the beginning let's bring it like really close to our camera and let's move it down below you can also do one thing let's add a camera to our scene and i'm going to use these settings so 36 mm or 35 mm focal length and just click on okay now i'm going to quickly select this and let's just bring it close to our scene and also I'm moving down the Y axis as well. It gives me this sort of thing and we can press S and I'm going to set this to 100. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's press R and let's add keyframe for rotations as well. Let's press this and in the beginning I'm going to move these keyframes to the very first and over here we want this to be like straight up so negative 90 would work like that so we have created this animation and maybe we can make it more flat so here you can see we have it coming into our frame and let's bring it up now if i press play you can see we have our phone coming in to our frame like that now we can have little bit of animation to the z value as well so for that let's move these two keyframe to this point and at this one we can move it at a nice angle like that so that we have our phone coming in and then it rotates like that now we can select all the keyframes press f9 as well now we don't want to change the easing of these keyframes so i'm going to only select these one let's go to the graph editor let's select them and we are going to use the same easing for this as well Let's make it look like that so that our phone is coming in to our scene and after it, it rotates slightly like that. Now we can move this like far away so that it is easing like really nicely. Perfect. Now as it is coming, we can have our other phone model as well to come from the backside as well. So for that, we can select this. Let's press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now let's select this one, press U and all we have to do is just go to this position and we can remove these two keyframes as it is coming let's animate its few properties so i'm going to like move it to this side 
perfect also let's animate it to the other way so it is always facing this side here you can see we have this very nice animation of it coming in perfect now for this one we can do the same easing as well let's go to the graph and i'm going to tweak it and change it to the same easing perfect now let's play with the timing of it now in the beginning we don't want to see it so i'm going to like quickly have a cut over here maybe in the beginning we can move it like a little bit down so that it is not visible and it is behind this so now if i press play you can see we have phone comes in and the second one comes in as well and i really like this motion now at the end we can play with the environment light as well let's press r and let's pick a light that we like again this is completely up to you however you want to make your scene to look like i really like this lighting because we have some flares going on as well perfect i think this looks good to me so once you have this we can again enable our text and this time we can just simply select this and let's change the let's change our text so now we have our new text and it is also animated using the same preset and we can have a little bit of position animation for this as well so let's add a keyframe and in the beginning we can like move it to this side now let's move these keyframes and select them press f9 and if i press play you can see we have this very nice animation and let's change the easing as well we can select these and let's place them down below so that they appear from behind the phone as well perfect so here you can see we have our scene 2 now in the same way we can create the scene 3 as well let me show you how so again let's select this press control or we can select the scene one let's press ctrl d let's open it up and over here again we can select these and let's remove all the keyframes now let's open it up and select and click on reset now let's bring it back to something like that now in this one we can make it go flat so i'm going to rotate it like negative 90 and let's set this to negative 90 as well and i'm going to rotate it along the c-axis and let's place it like this let's increase the scale as well now this is going to be a center so i'm going to select this let's press ctrl d and let's press r let's have one more but this time we can flip it so i'm going to set this to plus 90 and this one we can move it down so one two three four you can use the shift key so one two three four maybe a little bit more this one as well perfect so we have these two phones and now let's select them and i'm going to press r first let's add keyframe for their rotations let's press p let's add keyframe for positions now let's press u to see everything now this is going to be a final position so let's just have a little bit of angle so negative 82 and for this one we can make it something like this looks good to me now in the beginning all we have to do is just simply rotate it like in the opposite direction so we have this value and i'm going to subtract 180 or 270 from this like that and we have this one and in this one we can add 270 so that they both will rotate in the this direction so let's go to the very beginning and i'm going to move this to the right side and this one to the left side like that now if i press play you can see both of these phones will come in like that perfect now we can select these keyframes let's press f9 let's go to the graph editor and again we are going to do the same easing because we want all of these to come in like very quick perfect now let's press play and here you can see we have this these two phones coming in nicely perfect now we can select our text and let's place it in the center of these two like that now let's quickly change this let's change our text and let's press s and i'm going to like scale this down and also let's align it to the center of this composition so i think this looks good to me now we have to play with its timing so our phones will come up 
and somewhere around here we can have our text like to come in maybe a little bit more earlier let's press u and we can move these keyframes closer as well perfect so here you can see we have everything nicely lined up now we can play with the lighting again let's press r and it's completely up to you you can pick whatever kind of lights you want and i think this looks good to me so i like really like this one so we have this very nice gradient over here and we have like sharp edges to this one as well so we are done with that scene three as well and in the same way you can keep on going and keep on creating more scenes at last you can composite them in a single composition so let's call this one main the rest of the things will remain same just click on okay and under this one we can select all of them let's drop them in and let's place the scene one at the bottom and let's play it so we have our first scene so our phone comes in and as soon as it starts stops we can have our scene to come in now for the transition part we can use an effect called gradient wipe and let's drag it onto this now on this one let's add keyframe for the stop green completion and in the beginning we can move it over here and somewhere around here we can set this to 100 also let's increase the softness a little bit so that it will fade away as it is coming and it will fade away like that maybe a little bit more so here you can see we have our phone and as soon as it comes it will fade away and then we have our second scene coming in like that and the same way we can have the gradient wipe over here let's press let's select this and let's add a keyframe for this as well first increase the gradient softness let's add a keyframe let's press u and for this one we can animate it over here let's set this to 100 and let's move them maybe a little bit closer and as it is fading away like that we have our next scene coming up like that now at last if i press play you can see we have all of these scenes and all of these transitions nicely aligned and there you go this is how you can create these kind of 3d product animations inside of after effects without using any third party plugin or any 3d software as well so you can make full-fledged commercials for any brand in after effects only like these so the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates and all the advanced CGI and VFX tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.